check it out it's time for another shoe review and today we are reviewing the Hoka One One <laughs> Bondi 6 all right so I'm out here it's uh, cold I'm wearing my jacket and my hat but I wanted to do this review outside so that's what we're doing this is the one uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it perfectly but Hoka 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 <laughs> I don't know Hoka uh, one one, I know that part is right though because it's not one one, it's one one. Une one one. <laughs> I don't know, it's a difficult name to pronounce, but the Bondi 6, anyway. So, the Bondi 6 is the latest Bondi model uh, from Hoka. It came out this year, uh, just a few months ago, just a month ago or something like that. Uh, so, it's fairly new. The Bondi is historically the most cushioned shoe in the Hoka range, uh, possibly even the most cushioned shoe in the world. I don't know. Uh, it is very cushioned. This is the number six. Um, I've been wanting to try Hoka's for a while now. I've done, I run mostly just in ultra, or well, exclusively in ultra shoes. And I've done a lot of those reviews. I'll put a link to one of them here. Um, I love ultra shoes, but I've always been intrigued by Hoka. Uh, I guess I'm also affect affected a little bit by the marketing. I think they do a great job marketing and they do a great job um, designing the shoes. I mean, they look really cool. So I, I wanted to try them. I also like the idea, I like the idea of, of maximal cushioning too. Uh, you know, it just, it makes sense to me for a lot of reasons that I, I will probably get into in another video. Maximal versus minimal and all that stuff. But I bought them. I try them. These are actually the wide model, the the Bondi wide, because I have so wide feet. Uh, that's why the ultras are most of the time good for me. But even them are actually quite narrow sometimes in the middle there. So I, I went for the wide model, and it's it's just wide enough for me. It's not perfect, but it's all it's almost perfect. Uh, so I enjoy them. First time I headed out on the on the run with them, it was just like what <laughs> that felt good okay <laughs> that was nice just having that cushion it was just like heading out on on the forest floor on the trail even though i was on the pavement um you know the less cushioning i have when i head out on the pavement the more i feel like it's difficult to enjoy the road if you know what i mean like it's just so hard uh, with these though i can head out and i can actually enjoy it all the way through so I would say that this is obviously a shoe that you would use probably on longer road runs, like your long run or it's a volume shoe. Whereas if you're doing a speed workout, if you're doing a tempo run even, you probably want to consider doing it with a slightly lighter shoe, right? A little bit less cushion to have a little bit more contact maybe with the ground, a little bit more control, uh, but most of all the weight, because let's talk about the weight. Uh, I don't know the exact spec, but I think I weighed this one. This is a 46. This is size 46 and two thirds, European size, uh, which is a pretty big shoe. I have big feet, um, and I think it weighs something like 350 grams, which is a lot. Okay, that is a lot. So they're pretty damn heavy, and you notice it as well when you're running in them. They are heavy, but it's not a problem. I mean, you do get used to it, and it's sort of, it's just like. It's fine, it's fine, but it's not, it doesn't feel like a fast shoe. But, it, but because of the cushioning and the sort of springiness of the shoe, you still feel like you're sort of floating along fairly nicely. So uh, I would say they're heavy, but it's not a problem. I was actually originally wanting to try the Cliftons, which are slightly less cushioned, but they didn't have them in the wide size, so I, helped, I went for the Bondi's. Um, it's pretty firm, I can't really twist it much, so uh, not very flexible, um, but yeah, very comfortable still. The upper is also very comfortable. I don't know, it's it's fairly... Um, sometimes I, I can't find the, the right words to describe what I'm trying to explain, but uh, let's just say it's comfortable. The upper is comfortable and feels pretty sturdy. I like the, the laces. I like these kinds of laces, the flat ones. They just feel like they're easier to tie up and they're a little bit elastic which is nice as well what I do is that I I loosen the the laces down here to make my foot more comfortable there at the widest point and then I tighten it up here 
the outer sole uh, looks uh, pretty uh, sturdy. Yeah, it's uh, it doesn't look like it's gonna break down too quickly. But then again, I've only only run about oh I don't know 50 kilometers or something in them so far, so it's difficult to say. The fit uh, was uh, quite nice in terms of like how it fitted around my my ankle and stuff it felt comfortable I wasn't slipping out and in and out of the shoe or anything like that. it's firm uh, I have one big issue with it though I do have one big issue my, my big toe keeps bumping into the upper around here and it feels really as though it's made for people with hallux valgus is that what it's called I think where the big toe is sort of going inward like that you know that's a problem with a lot of shoes they sort of force your toes together and that's what I love about ultra uh, the ultra brand that they have a wide toe box allows your toes to splay so most shoes they force your toe in like that and the same is true for this they will force your toe a little bit in and I don't think it's a healthy um, biomechanical thing and also when your toe is forced in like that you're missing out on on having that big toe stabilize and 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 when you're towing off you should really get some of your power going through the big toe but if it's forced in like that you're sort of missing out on that so i think that's a big problem that uh hoka should definitely uh, attend to uh, creating a little bit of a larger toe box especially around the the big toe uh, the other toes were fine though i can't remember exactly how many millimeters of drop I think there's five millimeters of drop and the cushioning is something like 30 millimeters. I, I, I can't remember exactly, but there's a link in the description to the, to the shoe. And it's actually an affiliate link. It will take you to Amazon where you can buy these shoes if you want them. Uh, and if you do click that link, we will get paid for sending you there if you choose to buy. But the price remains the same for you anyway. So if you do that, it's a good way to support the Lone Trail. Uh, but you can also read there about the specs, etc. I'm not used to running with a drop. I've run in ultra shoes, as I've mentioned a few times now, and they have zero drop, meaning it's a completely flat shoe from heel to toe. I prefer that, but I wanted to try how it feels with a little bit of heel to toe drop anyway. So these have a five millimeter drop, as I said, I think. And uh, that, I can feel it. I can definitely feel it. It's kind of strange. It, it, it makes me run slightly differently and I, know, I don't know if that's a good or bad thing yet. I haven't filmed myself and studied how my running style is altered, uh, but that's something I will do soon. I think this particular color isn't the most awesome one. I would prefer the, the blue one, the typical Hoka, you know, light blue type color. But this was all they had in the white model, so that's what I had to do. Anyway, that's it. Super awesome shoe. I'm enjoying the cushioning. I'm experimenting with different types of shoes and this is a very interesting one. Uh, I dig the brand. Uh, check out the affiliate link that I just mentioned. It's in the description. And let me know in the comments, have you tried them? Are you a fan of Hoka? Uh, have you, which models have you tried? Uh, pros, cons? Uh, if not Hoka or Ultra at all, what brand do you run in? Let me know in the comments, I wanna know. And of course, check out some of my uh, other shoe reviews on Ultra shoes. I'll put a link to them somewhere here. Thanks for watching, please subscribe. And click the little bell button as well so you get notified whenever I upload a video. Hope you're having a good day, bye bye.